Good morning, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that button and subscribe. I'm trying to make a thousand viewers. I'm not making any money off of this channel. I'd have to have more than 10,000 viewers, so I got a real long way to go for that. But I do appreciate any support if you will subscribe. Uh, I was making videos like assuming people had some experience working on cars, but I'm trying to make some videos for the novice who hasn't worked on his car before where they can do general maintenance. Uh, not only will they save money, you'll have better products put in your car. You can pick premium grade synthetic oils and good quality filters. So today I'm doing an oil change on a 2008 Chevy Impala. Uh, I've got mine up on ramps. But if you don't have ramps, you're going to have to jack it. But by no means jack your car up and get underneath it without putting it on jack stands. You absolutely have to have jack stands. Never trust your life with a jack. It can fail and you can get killed and crushed. Uh, so I drove mine on ramps. But if you are going to put a jack under here, you can jack anywhere on this aluminum subframe. Like you can jack it here and then put the jack stand down here anywhere on the uh, subframe on both sides. Uh, mine had a 15 millimeter drain bolt in it because I had a replacement drain bolt. I believe the stock one is 14 millimeters. Uh, before you drain your oil, make sure you can get your oil filter out. A lot of places over tighten these oil filters you do not have to go crazy tightening that up it just needs to be snugged by hand and it will actually get tighter as it's on uh, when you're draining your oil just get a little of that oil on your finger and put it on a rubber seal of the new filter you have to lubricate that so you can get it back out again if you put it in dry you're going to have a real hard time getting that filter back out all right, so I drained my oil. It's been sitting here for about 20 minutes or so. It's still dripping, so I'm going to leave it go until it stops dripping. I didn't preheat my engine at all. I did this with it cold. When you do take the filter out, you're going to have some more oil drip out, so get ready for that. When you're taking your drain plug out, uh, loosen it with a ratchet. Then as you're turning it by hand, make sure you hold it up against the drain hole until you hit that last thread. Then pull it away real quick so you don't get oil all over your hand. I'm going to get oil on me now when I pull this filter out of here. The filter is located, I don't know, if this is the front of the car going this way. Here's the oil drain hole and the filter is right up in here. Just turn that counterclockwise. Like I said, more oil will come out when you pull this out there it goes I'm gonna just flip that upside down and let that drain in that drain pan damn it it went up my sleeve got all over my watch and everything hold on I got a mess sorry for the camera going all over the place guys I made a mess. Ugh. I didn't do that quick enough, fiddling around with the camera. So you're gonna get a little dirty. as far as oil go filters go I like using Bosch extended performance Wix XP or mobile one extended performance this is a uh, one year 20,000 mile oil filter I would never run oil or a filter for 20,000 miles the manufacturer recommends 10,000 miles people have argued with me when I tell them how often I do mine they say that the manufacturer recommends 10,000 miles. You should do it at that. 
you have to keep in mind one thing. The manufacturer is in the business of selling cars. <laughs> they don't want your car to last forever, guys. So uh, what I do with my cars is I change them at every 6,000 miles, sometimes 5,000 miles. As a car gets older, its efficiency declines. You get a little more uh, blow-by. That's the emissions gases going past the piston rings uh, and the valve seals and all that. That contaminates the oil quicker so as your car gets older i would change the oil a little more frequently this has almost 160,000 miles on it runs great so uh i don't know it's up to you you can follow the manufacturer's suggestions or do what i do and go at 6,000 miles uh i look at it like this oil is a hell of a lot cheaper than an engine so you can't hurt a car by changing the oil a little early it's impossible to do that so you know, go by what you choose to do. Uh, when you retighten that drain plug in, do not over tighten it. Don't go crazy with it. And with the oil filter, like I said, you just have to snug that up by hand. You want to be able to get it back out. As it starts grabbing, turn it like another half a revolution to snug. Uh, it won't come out. Uh, this car takes five quarts of oil. Fill it up. You can add filter to the oil before you put it back in or not. It's up to you. That filter, that oil pump will fill that filter up in a matter of an inch, a couple of seconds, one or two seconds. I usually don't add oil to the filter. Today, I may do so just for the hell of it. Uh, so add your five quarts, get it on level ground, shut it off, let it sit for a minute, and double check your fluid level. All right, guys, that's how you change oil on a 08 Impala and many other cars. I hope this was useful to some of you guys that aren't familiar with working on cars. Uh, I try to do videos that'll help people save money. I get so sick of these garages ripping people off, like a lot of these quick oil change places. Some of them don't even change your oil. They'll throw a filter on and throw a quart of oil in the car. Uh, my neighbor was telling me a story. He, he knows a guy, he said his buddy. I wouldn't be buddies with somebody like this. But he was over at his buddy's shop and the guy told him just throw a new oil filter on that car and add a quart of oil i was glad to hear that he refused to do that he wasn't going to do that to somebody that's crazy you know for to save a couple of bucks they're going to put somebody in a situation where they're going to have catastrophic engine damage happen to their cars that's a real scumbag he wouldn't be a buddy of mine so all right guys Thanks again for tuning in, and remember, take good care of your cars, they'll take good care of you. Sometimes. No guarantee, sometimes they still break down. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, share this video. I'd appreciate it. See you again soon. Bye-bye. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. What I usually do is I keep logs, actually, on all the replacement parts I put in my cars when I did it. Uh, what I do with the oil change is I'll take a piece of scotch tape and I'll write down the mileage that the next oil change is due at. So this one has 160,000 on it. I'll put a note up in the uh, upper left side of the windshield, 166K. So I'll know that's when the oil change is due again. All right, just good to keep track of that stuff. A lot goes on in life. It's hard to remember these things off at the top of your head. All right, I hope that's a little tip that helps somebody. Bye. I'm sorry, I named the filter wrong. It was Bosch Distance Plus. That was the filter I used. Other than the mobile extended performance, it's Bosch Distance Plus, Plus and the Wix XP. Okay, all great filters. Fram's garbage. Just has great uh, advertising campaigns. As far as the filter quality goes, it's shit. Look up different oil filter qualities and you'll see people open them up. They're made like garbage. All right, bye again.